the new car lift from Holden Vintage. We've selected this car lift because it's really suitable for the home garage, as you'll see later in the video, and how compact it is. We can mail this through a normal carrier to you, so there's no delivery difficulties, and it has some fantastic advantages. As you can see, the car is in the air, but is on, on wheels at the moment, so we can just move it around the garage easily, pull it towards us, we can rotate it round. Now the wheels on the, on the lift allow you to have them either fixed or turning. The rear two wheels have got brakes on them. And we all know what it's like in a home garage where you haven't got space or the car's a bit close to the wall and you just wish you could move it. Well, this lift allows you to lift the car up conveniently and then manoeuvre it round your garage where you want it to be. So we started at the end. Now we'll go back to the beginning and show you how it all, how it works. Now, the, the easy lift when you buy it comes as two separate single pieces of steel. Each one is not particularly heavy. I think each one's about 20 something kilos each. You have an assortment that you can purchase from of cross beams. So you, you buy the two main pads and you buy the two cross beams that suit your car. As you change cars to different ones, there are wider ones. These are really quite narrow ones. As standard, you get the bracketry, the mechanical gear inside, and these lifting pads. The lift comes with a full set of instructions, and there are normal height wheels that can be applied that allow you to move the lift around. Comes with oil to fill the little gearboxes inside. And I have to say, it's it's made in America and it's beautifully engineered. Now we're going to use this on a modern organ and this particular car has a really quite a low ground clearance but nevertheless the easy lift can be wiggled underneath you can use these small blocks or you could use wooden chocks if you've got far more ground clearance just to put on top of the pads which you move in place to lift the car so we'll just put these on there now having got the pads in place under the car you need a drill electric power drill to operate the lift now we've used this with conventional drills drill drivers and really you need a fairly good quality, high powered variable speed drill to, because you've got to power it up and you have to power it down. So it needs to be variable speed in both directions. So we've chosen this one, which is available separately on our website. The easy lift comes with the necessary bits on the end. And there's a simple connection here and away we go. Now as the, as the lift goes up, we've got rollers on the front, which is pulling the front arm towards a fixed part at the back here. So we'll carry on now. Here we are. We're just off maximum height. Maximum height will literally just bring it up a few more millimetres. And at this position, everything is good and sturdy. The car is very solidly placed on the lift. And I've got full access to the car. 
You can get right up the middle of the car to the back and the front. Now, the added versatility of this lift, as you saw, saw at the start of the clip, is that we can attach these optional wheels to the lift. And they really are a simple construction, nicely engineered. They'll fit in, and as the car comes down, the weight of the, the car lift and the car on it actually engages the wheels, and we'll show you that now. We've got two here for the front, two for the back. These two have a built-in brake, as you can see with the lever on the side. And you've got a control here that allows you to have the wheel fully rotating, or you can lock it so that it only goes forwards and backwards. So it's up to you whether you have it swiveling around, pull out, and lock in place. Right, we'll lower the lift down and fit the wheels. So we put the, put the wheels in and they're simply held in with a pin which has got a ball on the other side to stop it coming back out. And at the moment the wheels are not taking any weight. So we've just got to lower the lift down and take the weight. So what's happened here is the, the main support of the lift has, has been withdrawn from the floor and the weight of the car now on these pivot points here has mean that the, we've got three inches worth of movement of clear space underneath that we can now move the car around our workshop to the most convenient place. So there we have this beautifully made American lift. And I have to say, the quality of engineering is excellent in it. And traditional, traditional lifts like the one behind us that is very heavy, has a big hydraulic motor and everything, they're great in many ways, but this has so many more advantages. When you're not using it, it can hang on its own wall plates on the wall, and it literally just takes up four inches. There's no big, cumbersome hydraulic motor to go with it. It's a little bit slower coming up and going down than the hydraulic lifts, but the reality is when your car's on the lift, it's probably on there for about three or four hours, and the, the difference in the two minutes at either end makes with the going up and down within the, the range of the whole job is, is neither here nor there. It'll lift really quite big, heavy cars. And if you look on the easycarlift.com website in America, you'll see great big American cars being lifted up and down, seven liter Cobras with their big heavy engines. Absolutely no problem for this, for this car lift. So there we have it. New lift for the European market, made in America sold by Holden Vintage and Classic.